Hey everybody, welcome to a legionary's life. It's actually another thing I got from itch. This is this is a demo, but it contains the first three parts of the game, and I thought it was pretty. It sounded pretty interesting, so I just want to give it a try, basically. Uh, character creation emphasis: a fair word of warning. This game is unlike most RPGs in general. It is not designed to put you in a situation where the odds are against you, unless you are willingly. Uh, unless you willingly step into it, but challenges should be picked carefully based on your legionary strengths and weaknesses. Okay. Your character will more or less frequently fail at tasks. That's okay. You can't succeed at everything. Don't get discouraged when that happens. No check in this game is a toss up. Even though there is a random factor, your odds of success depend on your stats and the difficulty of the task at hand. Combat can be hard at first, but you will get a lot better once you get the hang of it. Please always remember that the same rules that apply to you also apply to the AI and vice versa. There are help buttons on many screens. They will guide you through your first explorations of a legionary's life. Okay, uh... Balance, physical, mental... Can't really see a difference here. Ah, okay, you want me to click everything here. Yeah, strength. Strength has a direct influence on the damage. Endurance allows you to fight to the best of your ability for longer. Constitution determines your capacity to absorb damage. Like your HP. Quickness makes you act more frequently in combat. Coordination helps you recover faster and more effectively when you lose stance. Okay, I mean, I'll just accept that then. Choose a name. Uh, this is a legionary's life. Let's just pick a Latin name here. Let's just pick, pick Primus here or Primus. Just means the first one. The first war lasted for over 20 years. Conflict had been only a matter of time. Once the relentless expansion of Rome came close to the huge Carthaginian. I, actually, I know what is this, but I don't know how to pronounce it in English. Sphere of influence. A young power propelled by a staggering self-confidence. Rome had, Rome had most of the Italic peninsula under its control at the time. Okay. Part 1. What should I do? Maybe training just? Javelin practice, solo practice? Your sword skill has a very high chance of improving, but only when the value is low. Your javelin skill can improve. The chance of success depends heavily on your coordination. This training can improve your sword and shield skills. This training is a lot more effective than sparing anyone, although it requires that the troop has a pretty high opinion of you. Well, let's just do solo practice then. Spend a lot of time practicing your swordsmanship against a wooden stake. You're definitely getting better at it. Your, Scots sword, oh, your sword skill has increased. I don't know why I can't talk today. Choose your training. The likelihood of improvement will drop as your skills increase. Skills are of primary importance during combat. Your, male, uh, your, morale, your morale will suffer if you exercise too much, especially in the same group. Javelin, melee or workouts, even more so if you, too often your efforts bear no fruit. He sold his 30 right now. Shield 29, Javelin 26. Okay, I see Longsword is our best secondary skill here. Yeah, simple legionary, one of about 100 in a maniple, a small tactical unit led by two centurions. Okay, I see there's a lot of simulation going on here. Awareness is down to 48, I'm not sure why. What does time left mean? Does it mean in the day? My morale is content. Got workouts. Workout can improve your coordination and endurance. Quickness and endurance. Strength and constitution. Let's just go with this one for now. You often spend time in the gymnasium for some extra training. Your commitment is rewarded. Your strength has increased. Okay. Just do it again. You aren't getting any better. Hmm. 
exactly. Now we have over exercise stress up here. When you exercise too much, this bar will increase. Different colors show different levels of stress. You will slowly lose morale when your stress is too high. Okay. You already train and work out as part of your routine. In order to maintain your combat skills in shape, the exercises you select are extra training and workout sessions used to bring your skills and physical prowess beyond their current levels. Okay. You can reduce your stress level by using your spare time for activities not related to exercise. Okay. Let's do some leisure activities. Hang around. You might increase the troops opinion by a tiny amount depending on your charisma. No matter what, there's also a small chance that your morale will improve. Play dice. You can either win or lose a small amount of money. The troops opinion may change, usually for the better, although that depends on your charisma. Also, also charisma. If you win money and improve your relationship with the troop, your morale will increase as well. Play a board game? Play board game works like play dice, but your success largely depends on your intellect. Have fun. You spend 10 denarii and your morale will increase a little. If you do this too often, the effect will be dampened and your virtue will decrease. What is... Our stats here are, both, are all at like 50 pretty much, except those. So let's just play... Something for our intellect here. You frequently pass time playing a game of Lentrunkily with your comrades. You have lost two denarii. Your opinion troop has increased by two. Okay. A lot of time in the day, man. Deeds. We haven't been awarded any deed. Miscellaneous extra patrol. Volunteer for extra patrol duty. Your dudes and centurions. Uh, your troops and centurions' opinions may improve. Even more so if your charisma is high. There's also the risk of an unpleasant random encounter. What's this up here, actually? Oh, this is just the message lock. Okay. Extra guard. Volunteer for extra guard duty. Your troops and centurion's opinion may improve. Even more so if your charisma is high. Guard duty is very boring though and your morale might suffer. It must be at least an optio or a centurion to access this activity. Your troops and centurions or tribunes opinion may improve. Even more so if your charisma is high. Unlike guard duty there is no loss of morale. A sacrifice is rather expensive, 40 denarii. The lower your intellect, the higher the chance of getting a large morale boost rather than a modest one. Okay. Is this religious mockery? What is our rank? We don't have any rank, okay. Just do an extra patrol. I think I just clicked it away here. You volunteer for extra patrol. Your opinion troop has increased by one. Your opinion centurion has increased by one. Okay. Random encounter. The patrol comes under attack by a distant group of slingers. You are unharmed. The slingers melt into the nearby vegetation. Any attempts at pursuit would be fruitless and probably lead to another ambush. Those were not enemy troops. It looks like the locals are not too happy about your presence. Similar episodes are being reported more and more frequently. Okay. See, these, those are our opinions here. Well, what else can we do? Buy and sell. You can either spend time searching for items to buy or sell your own. Your intelligence and your AWA, awareness. To a lesser extent will help you find items of better quality. Okay, let's just search. Oh, those are toy. Uh, those. Why did I German this one? Those are expensive, man. Back in breastplate, pectoral plate, reefs. We leave now. The item screen and style will be lost. You really want to continue? Yeah, don't show me this warning anymore, please. This game is very different from what I thought, actually. Uh, let's do some javelin practice here. Skill increased. Uh, spare with anyone here. Sword skill has increased. Shield skill has increased. That's nice. Let's just do it again. 
Ah, now we have the over-exercise stress again. Okay, I see how this goes. You just click through here a little. So a small chance your morale will improve. Morale plus one. Let's play, uh, play some dice. Gain free denari. Nice. And then just back to training. Spar a little bit. Shield skill plus. Nice. And we just do some leisure activities again. Or actually, what if we just work out a little bit more here? Weakness and endurance. Coordination and endurance. Let's do this one then. Coordination plus. Okay. Quickness plus. A little bit more endurance. Now we got morale minus one. Ah, now we got a regular pay. 37 denarii. Okay. The threat of your life is spun. Oh, hold on control to view your attributes and stuff like that. That's nice. Okay. That message disappeared too fast the other time. Two fellow soldiers are playing dice next to you. Suddenly, the one named Metallus turns on Volusineus and calls him a cheater. You know Metallus is right. Volusineus' deft movements have not escaped your keen eye. Uh... Let's see. Let's defend the guy who cheated. Virtue has increased by 5. We step in, siding with Volusineus, but it becomes a lost cause rather quickly. Everybody else sticks up for Metallus until Volusinus is forced to give back the money he won. You notice that Metallus and some of his friends are muttering among themselves while throwing a sideways glance at you. You leave before it gets worse. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Wrong decision, man. Let's hang around. Let's relax a little bit. This winter is especially harsh. For proper equipment, you'll have a hard time dealing with it. Buy some adequate clothes and sleeping gear for 25 denarii. Yeah, let's do that. You'll be far from comfortable, but at least you should be spared the worst. Let's, let's play some dice. One denarii, okay. Or one denarius, I should say. Give me some more dice. No, no, we have lost two denarii. I will be poor. Oh, wow, okay. That's, that was a nice round. Another three denarii. Troop opinion increased and morale increased. Okay, let's see what do we have here. You are on guard duty when you hear a strange noise. It came from somewhere on your left. Investigate, man. It's just an owl. With relief, you go back to your post. The rest of your shift passes off without incident. Okay, playing dice is nice, actually. Time left. Not too much time left. Spar here. You try to find an expert and skilled sparring partner for some extra training, but most of the times nobody is available. Your sporadic training is ineffective. Judging by the way everyone is shunning you, you suspect you won't stand a chance until the troops' opinion has improved. Okay. Was worth a try. Spar with anyone here. Shield skill plus. Time is over. Move on to the next main battle as soon as you feel ready. Okay. Let's just see what happens here. The camp bursts into activity as the whole army prepares to leave. You march to the south. It doesn't take long for your destination to become apparent. You are bound for New Carthage. I know where this is, but I'm like, how do you pronounce this, man? For New Carthage. For New Carthage. The capital of the Carthaginian colonies here in Hispania. It's a daring move and very risky. Several days later, you reach your destination and set camp not far from the city. According to camp talk, the closest enemy army is about 10 days march from here. A long siege is out of the question. You will have to take New Carthage by storm. Cast a glance at the city walls, strong stone walls. 
The thought of fighting your way up there makes your stomach churn. It's hard not to think that you may be looking at the place where your days will end. Hey, wow. <laughs> Morale is high at least. Let's continue. The next morning, your maniple is among the first to move out of the camp and reach the plain right in front of the city. Oh, nice. I mean, the front line as well. <laughs> Godspeed, man. I thought your centurion says it's true, the garrison of New Carthage consists of a small mercenary army, possibly 1,000 strong, and of course, the city militia. You're taking your place on the battlefield when all of a sudden, cries of alarm rise from the ranks. Look ahead with a start. The city gate is wide open, a screaming mass, numbering thousands, leaves the safety of the walls, quickly closing the gap with your partially deployed first line. Judging by their scant equipment, they must be the militia. The enemy commander wouldn't risk his precious mercenaries like this. It's pretty realistic actually. Blood pounding in your ears, get ready to receive them as the first battle of your life engulfs you. When the other side is at the right distance, you prepare to hold your first javelin. Uh, just throw it into the enemy ranks. <laughs> You decide to play it safe and hold your javelin in the general direction of the hostile troops. Your javelin disappears into the ranks of the foe. You can't say what damage it caused, if at all. But it must have produced some confusion at least. As the other side gets closer and closer, you steal yourself for the incoming fight. Okay. What are I looking at here? The stats. Health top left red. Is reduced whenever a character is wounded. When the circle disappears, the character dies. The actual maximum health value. All circle depends on the character's constitution. Yep. Stance is the blue one, the top right one. Represents the character's balance and readiness. The farther it falls below 100%, the more open and vulnerable a fighter becomes. Okay, so it's like stance is like posture pretty much. However, it can be regained very quickly and frequently through the recover action. And fatigue is the bottom one. Penalizes a character's performance, although the amount necessary for this to happen depends on endurance. The circle depends how close a character is to the next level of fatigue. Successful hits on limbs increase the victim's fatigue according to the damage received. Okay, here's a militia man. Anything I need to know here? Combat held, wow, okay. Attack. Hell yeah, attack is sense reduced by 15 to 3. Wow, this, this game doesn't screw around with tutorials, huh? How do I even attack? Stim militiaman, okay. Uh, let's. Can I click on javelin here? I think so. Okay, nice miss. Can I see what this guy does? You can hover your mouse over any element of the combat UI. Okay, we already found that out. Thanks for the tip. For example, each each selectable action contains a tooltip explaining what it does. Further details are inside the in-game manual. You can also press C to L to show the available hotkeys. Every time it's your turn to act, you can choose among several actions, each action aside from those that open a sub-menu as one or more indicators. The first one usually represents your chance to hit. The second indicator can have a different meaning depending on the action. Oh god, this is like... <laughs> Please, I didn't sign up for a novel, man. For each indicator, the chance of success is represented by a circular icon with a gladius. A full icon corresponds with a 100% chance of success, okay. An empty icon corresponds with 0%. Nice. For example, an icon is half full, it's 50%. This is 65%, this is 20%. Yeah, yeah. Keep an eye on your stance. Stance can be quickly regained for recover, we already know. Fatigue, we know. In pitch battles, you are rotated regularly, and fatigue is a minor concern. There are a number of situations where it's more relevant though. For example, when facing an opponent in single combat or if you are a centurion and must hold the line for longer than a troop. 
attitude. Now this is interesting. The attitude bar is of extreme tactical importance. A defensive attitude sacrifices offense for defense. An aggressive attitude does the opposite, increasing your chance to hit and masking and making you more vulnerable at the same time. If you frequently maintain a defensive attitude, you might slowly lose morale. Sometimes this is a cheap price to pay to live and fight another day. You can change your attitude as often as you like with no cost. You can click on any character on the combat UI for a detailed screen showing the values and currently active effects. When an effect is present, you can click on it for further details. Okay, there's a lot of clicking. If I look at this militia man. Can I somehow see his stats here? He doesn't seem to be equipped with anything, actually. My attitude. Can I slide this? Yes, okay, this must be defensive, right? Let's go a little bit more defensive here. Yeah, I see this one has a shield, actually. It's very... It's almost unnoticeable, and here's a little small gladius. Uh, attack. Okay, here are our hit chances. Torso looks pretty good. Groin. Hat. Let's hit. Let's hit the hat, maybe. If I mouse over the hat, does it tell me anything here? Health damage times 1.5. Attacker stance is reduced by 15 to 35. Attack cost three. A chance to hit the opponent, A chance to bypass the opponent's armor, okay. Ah, so H is the actual hit chance. So torso is pretty good because just how big a torso is, naturally speaking. Okay, let's attack the torso then. Okay, we hit him. And he missed our head. What is a faint action? If I go back, if I mouse over feint, does it tell me something? Opens a new menu where you can select a specific feint. Oh, really? Okay, feint quick. Success stance is reduced by, 15 to, uh, by 14 to 28. Failure, no consequence. Fatigue is 4. Chance of full success, chance of success in the primary attack check. Okay, that, let's just hit this guy. It's also looking better here. I like to go for the arm, actually. Let's see. If we compare the numbers here, this one is only health damage. Arm, health damage times 0 0.6 fatigue, increased by 100% of health damage. Failure attack stance reduced by 15 to 35. Actually, then let's just attack here again. Okay, nice hit. He's trying to recover here, so let's just hit him in the torso again. The, the side actually said, don't be discouraged if your combat for the first time like doesn't really go that well. So, I'm a little bit scared. Fatigue reduced by one, no consequence. Fatigue cost zero. Chance to succeed is endurance based. Okay. Respite failed, attack arm, missed, okay, nice. Yeah. Let's just give him another whack here. Let's go for the arm this time. Ah, damn, that's a miss, okay, that's terrible. Let's do a recovery action here. Should bring our stance back up. Let's hammer him in the head here. Ah, missed. Let's try it again. Dang. Maybe we should just go for torso attacks, but wow. Now the hit chances are terrible with such low stance apparently. Wow, he tried attacking me in the groin. You son of a bitch. Okay, we're recovering a little bit here. Now this looks better. 
What if I use my shield? Oh, I can knock, I can charge. But those don't look well like... Uh, let's just attack the torso again here. Okay, nice, another hit. And he missed a chance to hit our leg here. Just hit him again. Kill him! Dang, that's a miss. Let's recover some stance here. Okay, he's just missing. Man, you're terrible. Like, I thought I was terrible, but you're actually terrible. <laughs> hasn't hit that one... Hasn't been able to hit us once yet. Just attack his torso again here. Oh yeah, now our stance is slow. Man, our fatigue is so high. Eventually, the enemy formation starts breaking apart. Very soon, panic spreads as the wavering turns into a rout. So we won, I think. Yeah, we didn't kill him, but we still won. The Carthaginian militia is in disarray. An improvised pursuit is attempted, but your vanguard is stopped at the city gate before it can break in. Wow. Damn. Yeah, this didn't increase anything, I think. At least it doesn't look like it. We can just continue here. The Centurion beckons to you and a couple of other legionaries... Uh, beckons to you and a couple of other legionaries. You are temporarily... Uh, you are to temporarily leave the manipul and report back to the camp. Man, I don't know what it is about this game's English, but it's really hard to read. When you arrive, you discover what's going on. You'll be part of a 500 stern unit with a very special task. Proconsul Scipio himself leads you away from the battlefield, close to the edge of a lagoon, which runs along the northern portion of the city walls. Once there, he invites you to get into the lake. You look at each other in confusion. Surely, he's not expecting you to swim to the walls. The local guides who are accompanying your party move forward with an amused expression on their faces. The water is surprisingly shallow. At this time of the day, the low tide allows you to walk to the other side. Here the walls are completely undefended. As your companions prepare the ladders for an easy climb, you throw a look back at the opposite shore, just in time to see the proconsul and his escort right back to the battlefield. You scale the walls undisturbed and quickly move eastwards along the battlement. Most of the defenders run away from you, but eventually you meet a small group intent on stopping your advance. So let's bring it, man. Let's go a little bit aggressive here. Uh, so just another militia, man. Let's just, just throw a javelin again. Okay, yeah, and we're in. Give him the torso. Okay, nice. Nice move, just opening with a good strike here. Another hit. Give him, man. Hit him where it hurts. Oh, he grazed me, okay. Give him another one. Okay, now our stance. Slacking a little bit here. Oh, both your comrades joined the fight. <laughs> Now we're talking, man. Legionaries, attack! And the, the battle music is really good, actually. It's so dramatic. I just see numbers, right? But, like, the legionaries just fucked them up. Like, left, right, goodbye, son. <laughs> There's no time to dwell on what just happened. You rush forward along the rest of the assault team. Soon you reach the eastern gate, letting in the bulk of your legions. Damn, that was actually pretty good. You follow your manipul into the city streets. Your orders are very clear. Secure the city by killing everything that meets in the open. Hopefully nobody will be so ill-considered. Your thoughts are interrupted when a small number of militiamen stand in your path. By a small number they mean exactly one. Okay, let's go for a more aggressive stance here. Hold the javelin. Okay, oh. We lost some stance here immediately, okay. 
We're still hurt from last time. At least I just want to recover. Okay, let's attack his arm here. Yeah, that was terrible. I want to see what, like, how I can make him more fatigued. But maybe it's not even necessary. Let's go for the torso. Oh wow, he fainted me big time. Look at that. Wow, thank you, armor. Hit absorbed. Please recover. Please. Oh, finally some stands. The legionaries are here. Get them, boys. Uh, let me just... Adjust here and then recover a little bit. Nice. Yeah, they <laughs> they'll mess him up, man. Let's faint him here with a... With a quick faint, maybe? Chance of success in the primary attack check. Uh, yeah, let's just do a quick faint here. Still lost a little bit of stance. Guy going for the torso. Okay, let's hit his arm. Nice. And one of my guys just hit him in the groin. It's not very nice. Torso strike. Damn. That was my chance, man. He was so close. Sorry, just taking a sip from my water here. Look at the militiaman's lifeless body. Quick thoughts flickering through your mind. Elation or pity? Pity, man. Like, he's not even really equipped. Drafted into service, forced to fight to defend his home. It does ring a bell. You wonder about the people waiting for him at home, never to see him come back. Man, we're really virtuous, apparently. In reality, we're just like a coward. <laughs> An officer yelling out orders brings you back down to earth with a bump. You move on. You keep marching along the streets. As is custom, looting is strictly prohibited until the battle is over. The low virtue take a chance to sneak away in search of a quick profit. But we don't have low virtue, right? So let's just dive back in here. New Carthage is almost conquered, but 500 mercenaries from the garrison are still holding the citadel. The proconsul is looking for volunteers for an assault on this last bastion. He's throwing in a more. He's throwing in a more than double loot share. His mercenaries are nothing like the militia you have been facing until now. They may not be the enemy's best troops, they wouldn't have been left there if they were, but they are still professional soldiers. Only the most experienced legionaries are volunteering. No one will blame you if you backed off. I volunteer. You step forwards, taking your place among the other volunteers. <laughs> Look at their opinion, everyone's like, damn, this guy has balls. Your newly assembled force makes its way to the citadel. The mercenaries are waiting for you in the open. Numbers are on your side, but they have the high ground. Oh, is this a Star Wars reference? When the other side is at the high as at the right distance, you prepare to hold your first javelin. Let's try a pick of a specific target. Take aim at one of the enemy soldiers and hold your javelin. What a what an embarrassing throw! And so no one has noticed your pathetic attempt. Wow, okay. As the other side gets close and closer, you steal yourself for the incoming fight. Please, where, where's the... Uh, why not just throw a javelin anyway, right? Oh, that's why, okay. Because <laughs> you lose stance. Let's recover here. Oh, this guy is the real deal, huh? Maybe I can faint him. What's the C here? Chance to overcome your opponent's resistance. Okay. Uh, soft spot? What does soft spot even do? Opens a new menu where you can select a specific soft spot to attack. It's like a normal attack, except that your weapon skill has a greater influence on a bypass armor chance at the cost of a lower chance to hit. Wow, look at those hit chances. That's terrible, man. This guy seems to like really good. Can't really see the stats of his armor, can I? Try... 
Painting also doesn't seem like a good idea, apparently. Like, look at those, man. Can I not just take a really defensive action? What if I just try and faint you? Faint failed. Wow, he's trying to hit my neck. Jesus Christ. This reduces fatigue by one, okay. Let's try and give him a little knock. Wow, that is terrible here. Do I have anything I can do here? Adverse terrain. When the opponents have high ground, fighters will suffer something. Non pro weapons with a reach greater than 2 will suffer an attack penalty. Okay. Because they have the high ground, huh? I mean, should probably just wait for somebody to come and help me at this point in time here. Yeah, I'm already fighting very defensively here. Let's just do some respite here. Failed. Wow, that's nice. Okay. Let's give him an arm one here. There goes the stance. Recover, please. Is this how we die? Oh, nice recover here. God, that attack hurt. I don't think we can run away, right? Thank God we're wearing a helmet. How can we win this? Please, just die. Let's recover our stance here. Where are my legionary buddies? Wow, that was terrible, man. Minus 34. No, look at that. Please, I'm dying. <laughs> Help me. My head. Help me. See, soft spot. Look at those hit chances, man. It's like, god damn. They're all terrible. Fainting everything. What does this mean here? And find space. Oh, okay, this is the same thing. Uh, just try and arm hit again. There goes the stance. Nice try hitting my groin. Situation is shifting. Won't be able to keep facing the current enemy for much longer. Okay. Please. <laughs> Please shift. I don't want to face him. Let's try and give him a hit on the leg here. I'm dying, man. Like, I'm actively dying. Recover my stance. Please. We, are, we can't really hit him. It's just like I'm waiting for my legionary buddies. A brief lull in the fighting allows for it. Your centurion gives the signal to rotate. The line behind yours moves forward while your orderly fall back the rear. Oh, thank goodness. We escaped. From your current position, it's difficult to figure out what's going on ahead. One after another, the rows before you fall back at the Centurion signal. Slowly, you find yourself once again at the front. No! <laughs> Look at this guy. I don't want to be at the front. And this time, I don't have a javelin to throw. Let's see. Uh, his fatigue is quite high, actually. I have a feeling we're going to die here. Okay, he missed, thank goodness. Let's recover some stance. Wow, okay. Thanks, armor. Can we faint here? I mean, we might as well try. Oh, this is what the developer meant with don't worry if you're totally losing in the first combat. 
to probably specify the first war here. And there we go. <laughs> Looks like we died. Game over. Primus. No rank. Wow, look at that. We have a score of 15. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Uh, this is just a little one-off. I just want to give this game a little try. It's a demo anyway. I'll pop a link in the, subscri uh, in the subscription. Yeah, right. I'll pop a link in the description everything. But for now, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Have a nice day and bye-bye.